Let's go to the Emerald Theater. Always, every wish finally put into motion. Diving in with our hearts wide open. The story comes alive when we look inside. Hi guys, it's me Malcolm, the movie Wizard of Oz himself, and I'm here to discuss my review of a sequel from from Disney Channel original movie, oh. Halloween Town 2, Calabar's Revenge. This one talks about, about, about Aggie, played by Debbie Reynolds, and Marnie going off to Halloween Town to inf investigate the strange occurrence. Oh, sorry, my bad. bad. But something went wrong in Halloween Town. Turns out everything is gray, gray and the creatures are turning into humans. And it's all because of Cal, who happens to be the son of Calabar. I mean, it was crazy. I mean, it was a crazy reveal how Marnie found out about the Rose reveal. I mean, <laughs> he, I mean, you know what they say, like father, like son. <laughs> and it, and it was a crazy thing. I really did hate it what happened over there, there in Halloween Town. I hate it when it was all gray. <laughs> and I also, I was so excited to see, to, to see Luke again. For those of you that don't know, Luke happens to be used to work work with Calabar in the first movie of Halloween Town, Town, and how and he used to be a goblin, but but Calabar offering an exchange for his help to make him beautiful, which is <laughs> but now he's on on Marty's side. And he he's coming he looks and he was great as a goblin. Not not in the first one, but in this movie. <sighs> I really do admire the movie. It was so much better than his predecessor. I really do do admire the characters. Like so Sophie, how she was so smart to figure out how her mom that her mom's state is really a golem. It was such not a coincidence. And I really do admire the time travel that Marnie did. In fact, I always do admire how she figured out how to get rid of the gray spell by using this word trapper. <laughs> that is an epic spell to do. I really do love that scene, how she how he used how she used it on Gord as a test. <sighs> But no, nothing compares that creature spell that Cal did. I mean, I mean, turning humans into creatures. I mean, that was a shocking scene. I mean, I mean, when when the children's mother became a hideous creature. I don't know. Was was she, was she a creepy witch or a or a goblin? Hmm. I couldn't decide, decide which what mask that was. Mm, definitely a witch. Wait, how, the way how she looked like that? Mm, definitely. Huh. But everything worked out. They finally defeated Cal by getting back the spell books. That was awesome. Huh. So, I really do admire how they went back to Halloween Town and got rid of the gray spell. I really did like it how Sophie keeps using that word all the time, time around there. That was, that was a great ending. Okay, you guys, I guess that's it. Oh, my bad. So for my score for Halloween Town 2, I definitely give this one a 10 as well. Definitely a 10. 
So if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and be sure you all stay safe, stay healthy, and wear a mask. Bye. Brown, you see the gloves are coming off. Tell me when you've had enough.